Welcome back to Cooking is Easy, guys. Today, we're going to be grilling up a New York strip. So this is a choice New York strip, the regular New York strip you're going to find at your local supermarket. So here's what we're going to do first. Of course, you got to pat the meat dry. You got to get all that moisture off. That way you can get a nice hard sear, get some browning Maillard reaction on the steak. Uh, that's where all the flavor is going to come from. So do not skimp on this step. Use a couple paper towels. Get it as dry as possible. You want it to look like this. When you pat it dry, you should see no more uh, moisture coming off. So now let's season. First, we're going to season with kosher salt. Be liberal. You want to cover the entire surface of the steak. Next, we're going to crush some black pepper. Grind it on there. I like a lot of pepper on my steak, but again, cover your steak liberally. And then lastly, some garlic powder. This is the trio, salt, pepper, garlic powder. Cover the steak as even as possible and then pat it in. Flip and repeat. Salt, pepper, garlic powder. Pat it in. Now, of course, all this leftover stuff on the side, rub it in. Get it around the steak. That way your steak is completely seasoned all the way around. And what you're going to want to see is this, a completely covered piece of meat from head to toe with your seasonings. Now head on over to your grill. You're going to turn the gas on and you want this to be on high. You want to get your grill as hot as it can go. So make sure you crank it all the way up to high. My grill stops out around about 550. Um, so this temperature is right where you want to be. That way, when you lay the steak down, you're going to get a hard sear. So come back to your grill, feel that hot spot, get it smoking, and then you hear that sizzling sound, that's what you want to hear when you put the steak down. If you don't hear that sizzling sound, your grill is not hot enough and you're not going to get a sear. So make sure you get that sizzle, press it down, good contact, close it back up. So now this steak is going to take about 10 minutes. After about 2 minutes and 30 seconds, you're going to come back to your steak and check it for some grill marks. So when you lift it, it should look like this nice brown grill marks and now what you're going to do is turn the steak i turned it a little bit too much for this video all you have to do is do a slight turn this was about a 45 degree turn just turn it a little slighter than me and then close the grill back up and after about another two minutes and 30 seconds you're going to come back and flip it so you should see diamond marks if you did it correctly i messed up here but no worries it's still going to come out great when you flip it make sure you press it down again get good contact and this is what a little behind the scenes footage looks like. Don't be afraid to use your iPhone, people. Here's the steak, it's coming out beautifully. You want the steak to be brown on the outside, that's where all the flavor is gonna come from. So now after a couple minutes, take your temperature. If you have an instant read thermometer, we're at 109. We want it to read 120 degrees internal for medium rare. Now you're gonna come back to the steak after another two minutes, turn it another few degrees right now we're on minute seven seven and a half take temperature at that 110 115 mark you're good to pull it off poke it a little bit make sure it's that that right texture you want uh, and then once you get to that 115 mark that's when i like to pull it because it's actually going to carry over about 10 degrees when it's resting so this is what it should look like you should see the juices rendering out it's a very good sign as you can see there's a hard sear on this that's where all the flavor is going to come from. All these little brown bits that you see, that's the part that you're going to taste. You see the juices oozing out. You got to let your steak rest for at least 10 minutes before you slice it. And now let's see what we got. Slice it right down the middle. And as you can see, we got a perfect medium rare. Very juicy, very tender. 10 minutes, very simple to grill, and let's continue slicing this bad boy so we can taste it. Also, if you're enjoying this steak recipe, like and subscribe to my channel for more. It'll really help the video. Oh God, my mouth is watering as I'm doing this voiceover. But again, this is one of the most simple recipes you can make. A grilled steak takes 10 minutes from start to finish. Slice it up, serve it to your friends should be nice and juicy and medium rare very simple recipe god if your mouth is not watering there's got to be something wrong with you let's pull apart tender rip a little piece off for yourself 
Guys, super simple steak. If you don't mind, give this video a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Take a quick bite. Of course, it's amazing. And if you want, you can even slice it up into little chunks. Mess them around, get them all juicy. We'll see you on the next one, guys.